On the slide in front of you, Satan's two deadliest viruses. On the left, you see religion. That's Revelation 17. Uh, on the right, you see uh, Revelation 18 is materialism. The God of this world has two viruses he has used to infect all of humanity since the dawn of human history. And that's what we're going to see when we go through Genesis 3 here in just a moment. Religion is making my own way to God. I'm going my own way. I, I want, as Isaiah said, all we like sheep have gone astray. We turn to our own way. We don't want God's way. We want our own way. That's number one. Number two, religion is when things are more important than God. Religion is trying to achieve God's favor by my achievement, human achievement, my way. Materialism is seeking physical things, whether they're physical pleasures, physical possessions, physical power, anything more than God or in place of God or to the neglect of God. And one of the most graphic signs of materialism is our preoccupation with the material, as in electronic world and getting into whatever's online, that robs us. Most believers struggle every day with not spending time alone with God and his word because we're so distracted by the material things, the physical things. So to understand Revelation 17 and 18, we have to go back to Genesis. Genesis tells us in this slide, you see down there in the corner, Satan's two deadliest viral infections. From the beginning, Satan has infected all humanity with either one or both of these viruses. Everybody you meet around the world throughout all history either spent their life focusing on going their own way and, and whether it's their own way of religion that they designed or joining someone else's or going their own way, like the people you meet that say, oh, I don't believe in God and I don't believe in church. You know, I just worship God out in nature or I, you know, I kind of am finding my own way. That's religion going my own way. Materialism, that things, pursuing things are more important than God. So what we need to do is understand Satan's playbook. If we can understand what his methods are, if we can understand, you know, the, the infectious nature of his lies, then we can stay spiritually strong and healthy. You understand? Once you understand his plans, we can understand how to stay strong and healthy. And so when we go to the crash site of humanity, that's what I call Genesis 3. Genesis 3 and I'm going to open there real quickly, and I'll be reading from there and pointing out these verses. But the best way to understand Revelation 17, in fact, Revelation any part, is to see what begins in Genesis. So the door that opens our understanding to this incredible chapter about Satan's religion and his his apostate church and, and all the global worship going on, the way to understand that is to go way back here to what Satan did in Genesis 3. And what he did in Genesis 3 not only affected the whole human race, but his first convert, Satan's first convert, was Cain. And Cain, if you remember, uh, God told Cain and Abel to bring a sacrifice. And what, what sacrifice did Cain bring? He didn't bring what God asked. He brought his own way, his own idea. He brought the best he could produce, which is what religion is, my works and, and my best. That comes full blown into global false worship at the Tower of Babel. When they said, we don't need God, we're going to build a tower, we're going to make our own way to heaven. Our own way to heaven? Religion. See, that's, that's what we see at the Tower of Babel. And then Balaam succeeds in infecting God's chosen people promise Israel with the virus of idolatry. And coming to the New Testament, by the time we get to the church of Pergamos, we find them mixing the error of Balaam and the whole, what becomes the idolatry of the, of the Roman Catholic church, we'll see. And then we see Antichrist setting up the image, everybody worshiping him. And then finally, our chapter 17, the apostate church and global religion.